Hello, welcome back. This is uh, Sandy and Jesse Rodriguez providing you another way of life. Today's subject is going to be, uh, I haven't come up with a title yet, but uh, it's going to be a combination of lessons. Lessons that uh, I have provided you know, or share with all of you for comment. So you would think if I'm teaching a subject that I would apply the principles or the lesson at hand. You would think that. So this video, like I said, is a combination of uh, active listening and when we ask questions, there's a way to, a proper way to ask a question. So it could, you could ask a question, not question in the subject or what they're telling, but question for clarification. And also, been sharing with you, what's our purpose? What's our, well, what's my purpose to be in life? And I said, well, maybe I'm supposed to be an example to others of what not to do. I, uh, this morning I had to make an appointment with a doctor, rather urgent, and uh, I'll get that towards the end of the, excuse me, towards the end of the video. So I had to make an urgent appointment, and the doctor or the surgeon uh, that uh, did my cataract uh, surgery, today was not his uh, schedule to be here in San Antonio, but he has offices around the, the various communities around the city. And there was one here east of us, Seguin, not that far, but 30 some odd miles, maybe less, but within driving distance. Normally I have to drive over to the, to the west side of town anyway for his main office. So I said, no problem. And I looked at the map and I called the office. What was the problem? I said, well, I need to see the, the doctor. I woke up and my right eye was uh, in really intense pain, intense pain. And they said, oh, come right in. So they more or less uh, said, you know how you come in? So yeah, I'm going to go on the interstate, interstate 10. Yeah, so I, I saw it. She said, yeah, get off 46. And so she was talking. This is the uh, the uh, one of the the nurses there at that excuse me at the desk was telling me you know how to get off the the name of the number of the road. Okay, so uh, another thing is, do you believe in intuition? Sandy and I talked about this, and we're saying if you from now on we trust our intuition, because there have been in the past. That we have not listened to intuition and later on you said I wish I had so from now on I'm following my intuition this morning that was the one thing I did right something said or somebody a little voice live early so uh, I said okay normally it's gonna be a maybe a 35 40 minute drive I live a little earlier so I left a little after 9 this morning only to return home after two o'clock this afternoon. Oh yes, it was a long day and I'm gonna make a long story short. So I drive down the road, but sure enough, I see uh, exit 46, I get on uh, State Route 46, and I'm going down the road, I said, oh, can I get to the doctor's office, no problem. Well, lo and behold, a few minutes, I'm outside on the country. I see the farms. I said, wait a minute, something's not right. So I backtrack. I go back. And I still don't. I said, where could the office have been? So I get on the interstate thinking, ah, maybe I got off too soon on the exit. Maybe there's another exit for that other route. Because sometimes here in, in uh, San Antonio or Texas, they all have business routes. So I thought to myself, I got off too soon. So I get on the interstate, interstate 10, going east, and I said, oh, probably on the next exit. 
no, I did no 46 and I keep on driving no pretty soon I'm out of, I'm out of the city limits I said okay now I need to turn around don't forget now I'm on the interstate so it's not as easy to get on it turn around you know not like you're gonna get to the next street and it's a stoplight no you have to wait so here it is about 15 20 miles on the road sure enough a road to Waco and Austin. Just to remind you, we live south of Austin. Austin is the state capital. It's north of us. It's about an hour's drive. So I said, well, if I get off on this exit, they'll probably have a, a turnaround to be able to do it. So I get off. So I'm heading on this, another part of an, another interstate. I said, okay, now where am I going to provide a tour run to go back to San Antonio? Oh, boy. Long story short, now on the interstate, another 20, 30 miles before another turn around and finally get back. I finally get back and I'm about, oh, I would say 15, maybe 15, 10 minutes late for my original appointment. So I signed in, and the office is packed. So I'm thinking, well, you know, I already had my appointment, and uh, I should probably just fall in love. They should be calling me any minute. Mistake, mistake, mistake. An hour or so later, excuse me, Terry, an hour or so later, ladies and gentlemen, yes, waiting in the room. Boy, oh boy. Uh, diagnosis, I have pink eye. How I got an infection, we're going through it again. So now we came home, taking preventive measures, you know, uh, changing all the towels, make sure I don't touch, or the, my, our son and Sandy don't touch what I touch, you know, taking preventive measures. It's very contagious. And so now I have a follow-up early tomorrow morning. Oh yes, now I know how to get there. So early in the morning, because we need to take care of this infection. Because next week is my next schedule for my left eye, for the cataract on my left eye on Wednesday. So we need to take care of this infection. So let me, a long story short, summarize lessons that we I've been teaching you active listening. I didn't do it. When the nurse was telling me how to drive, and she said, oh, you'll see the university, uh, Texas Lutheran University, and then she said, you'll see a gas station. I believe she probably told me, you're going to make a left turn. I didn't do it. I just went on straight. Exactly. So, Two lessons. I was not active listening, and I did not go back and say, would you uh, go over that? I may not have heard, heard you correctly. It's my fault. Put it on myself. So I'm asking for clarification. If I had done that, it would not have been this a long day. Because don't forget, I had to come back. This is urgent. So I got two prescriptions. So I had to go to the, you guessed it, pharmacy. I had to go to the pharmacy. I had to make sure I get these prescriptions going and start taking them today. But they're super busy in the afternoon, so, yep, guess you get, again, I gotta wait. So, started off this morning at little after nine and not home until sometime after two o'clock. All because Jesse did not apply lessons learned. So be mindful of that. Long story short, your comments, please. Thoughts on what Jesse went through today. And I'll keep you abreast on my uh, pink eye. So, Sandy and Jesse Rodriguez, another way of life. I bid you a good day. Take good care of each other. Bye.